This is a day that I've been looking forward to, but also haven't been looking forward to at the same exact time. Before this video goes any farther, I originally wrapped the car red because we had intentions of doing the Liberty Walk kit. Now, I still see a lot of comments and questions about this. The Liberty Walk kit, to my understanding, is still in prototyping phase, and they're not really sending them out, to my understanding. It's been five months since I was in Tokyo, and I was looking at it, and I was ready for it. And then, I kind of just got cold feet waiting for it, and my, like, drive to do it kind of fell off. I also don't want to spend, like, 50 grand for the kit and I also don't want to cut my car's value in half by cutting it all up. I've actually decided to take it back to its stock form and get the whole thing repainted. So that means we're going to be starting with taking the wrap off. Now I don't want to do this by myself so I've walked over to Dustin's shop where I know Danny is in here doing nothing but making dumb Instagram stories chugging chocolate milk. Ain't that right Danny? <laughs> Please don't make me do it alone. Okay. Danny is extra premium, and he is the all-time rapper, which <laughs> means so he's happy. also the all-time unwrapper, which also means that he's gonna help us for a little bit today, right, Tim? Just a wee bit. All right, let's go wreck our fingers. Calvin's gonna come help us as well, but the thing is, leaving a car outside is a great way to heat up the whole entire wrap because the sun heats it up, but as you guys can tell, you don't have any sun today. I don't even know if it's worth it to do it outside. Should we do it inside? Yeah. Taking a wrap off isn't the hardest thing in the world, but it's very, very frustrating because it just like kills your fingers over time. And they just get really sore after trying to pull the whole thing off. And the best way to do it is to just is to get as many friends as possible. So hopefully throughout the day, we can have me on it, Danny on it for a little bit, Calvin's gonna jump on it, and even Sabrina's gonna try and help do this. And like I said, if the sun was out, it would make our job a million times easier. Some things that you can do to replicate the sun and and the heat is using a heat gun. But How many heat guns do you have? I think only one. We might have two. Does Dustin have an extra? Probably. Probably doesn't. Dustin doesn't Maybe have any tools at all. Come on, look at me. I have to have a heat gun, baby. <laughs> Everybody get your last looks. Oh man, it looks so good from right here. Fuck. I'm disappointing. Red is so, so Ferrari. It is, and at one point in my life I said I wanted to own a red Ferrari, and I did that, I accomplished that. But let me explain to you why, Dan, we're doing this. And I'll explain to all of you guys out here. I'm gonna quickly put the front end of this car under a microscope and kind of explain why I wanna repaint all of it and why this is all temporary. So for one, if you look right here, kind of, you can focus. There's a couple blemishes underneath the wrap. I mean, by all means, the fenders aren't perfect. It's a little rough right here. If you look at this front bumper this right here you can kind of see it's not in perfect condition there's a bunch of blemishes everywhere and more so on this side it's not perfect either this is where we did all that bondo work so for one i want all that to be perfect and it's not i want to fix this side skirt you guys already know that and i just want to make this car 100 percent perfect so that when i do sell it or trade it or do whatever i can get the most value out of it so with that being said this thing is about to get stripped by me and Dan. As always, shout out to Premium Auto Styling for doing this. They knew that I was only gonna keep this for a couple months. I appreciate them wrapping this, knowing it had a short lifespan. But enough lollygagging, enough stalling, and let's get after it. That is ugly, I forgot we did that. <laughs> ugly girl. You know, it's only been like maybe 30, 45 minutes and we're cooking. First third of the car is all done. Look at this, the white looks so good. And I love the black top. We wanted to do that last just so we could like see what the car looks like. I remember my first time ever driving a 458. It was docked to M3s and he had this same exact setup. He had a white Italia with the black roof with the stock wheels. I like the black hood. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Kind of like what- facetious. Facetious? Facetious. 
Hashishas. What's this man talking about? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna start taking this roof off and finish the job. A lot of the stuff we're like leaving kind of on, like we're not taking all of this apart just yet because when we get to the paint shop tomorrow, we need to disassemble the rear end and all that has to come off and we have to take up the front fenders and take up this badging. So there's still some pieces left over but there's no need to do it twice and take everything apart twice because it's gonna get done tomorrow. So we're just doing like the majority of it. All right, well you guys know how much I love white cars. Damn! It looks amazing. The white with the black wheels, and then, well, this front just really kind of throws it off, but whoa, I missed that. I've never seen this car put together all white before. Uh, actually, I, lie. I guess we did before we started wrapping it, but I haven't seen it with the wheels like that. It looks great, so I'm not gonna be giving away too much information just yet, but tomorrow we're driving up to a shop, and we're gonna give this thing a little overhaul. It needs a little love, so we're definitely gonna be changing some stuff. And I'm actually really looking forward to doing a, uh, one thing that I know I'm for sure about is I'm going to be doing a wild color on the calipers. I've always wanted like really, I guess my BRZ has pretty bright calipers. Anyways, I have, I have a vision. I have a vision, boys, and the vision is gonna be good. It's gonna be really, really clean. I'm really looking forward to it. That didn't take as long as I thought, because well, we had me, Danny, Calvin, and then Evan on it at one point. We probably did it in under two hours. Huge moves. Oh, so amazing. Back in the kitchen with Chef Tej. We're stepping it up tonight. Not only are we doing TJ's famous pan sear chicken, we're also doing a skirt steak with some rice, with chipotle style cheese drizzle sauce, some corn, some black beans, and some avocados, tomatoes, kale salad. Jumbo doesn't help, usual. I'm making the rice! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Beat no. it. She's trying to get in here. This is my sear here. Look at that. Nice caramelization right there. I like it. The chef is working on my sear right now. Hold on. I need to check on my rye. Oh, she looks good. Looks like some good rye. 